Welcome to this video on Luminate Warehouse Tasking Familiarization. In this video, we will discuss the details of LWT and understand the role of LWT in warehouse operations. In a warehouse, when orders, order lines, shipments, and shipment lines are created, the wave planners plan the wave. Once the wave planner allocates the task, picks are generated as tasks based on the configuration. For example, if it is a pallet pick, tasks are created for each pallet pick. If it is a case pick, or each pick, tasks managed through work assignment or list picks, where multiple case picks are grouped into one list and assigned a task. All these tasks are entries in work queue. Once the tasks are released for execution, LWT will provide visibility and optimize them near real time based on the due date and time. Note that the data in LWT is obtained near real time as any input is updated in LWT every 5 to 10 minutes. This way, LWT estimates the goal time by determining the time taken to complete a pallet or a case pick. It helps configure the number of users available for a shift. For example, with 10 users assigned for pallet picking by WMS, there may be situations of interleaving. These are managed by LWT in such a way that tasks are executed without any delay. Also, in case of a high priority order that requires the effort of five workers, LWT helps execute the task without any delay and adjusts the priority. It also provides visibility to orders executed in the warehouse. Note that the work assignment is executed by WMS and not LWT. So, how does LWT ensure seamless operation in a warehouse? What are its functionalities? LWT ensures seamless operation in a warehouse by escalating and de-escalating tasks based on due date and time, capacity smoothing, tie-breaking, and chaining tasks. LWT manages work queue with the due date and time as the end goal and escalates or de-escalates the other tasks appropriately. For example, for any given task, LWT considers the appointment date first. If appointment date is unavailable, it identifies the least early shipment date, or late shipment date, early delivery date, late delivery date, or buffer and sets the due time. This helps assign task priority by escalating or de-escalating tasks to take care of the immediate shipment or delivery. The capacity smoothing ability allows for balancing the processing capability of the warehouse resources to tasks in the future. For example, if a warehouse has replenishers in the day shift, but none in the night shift, LWT considers the availability of resources and plans work in a way that any replenishment that needs to be done in the night is taken care in the morning shift. This way, LWT considers resource configuration and adjusts work priority without manual intervention. In another instance, a standard wave operation in a warehouse results in peaks and valleys in productivity. When tasks pertaining to a wave are sent to LWT ahead of time, it spreads the tasks over time based on available resource capacity. This way, LWT manages finite number of resources and large volume of tasks efficiently. LWT drives the priorities of each task from something other than due dates or precedents including ship to order address in case of an international shipment, and order staging in process. For instance, in case of an international load that requires additional processing, LWT flags tasks that are associated to that load and ensures its timely processing. In another situation where two outbound trailers are expected to arrive at the same time, but only the first trailer has checked in. In this scenario, LWT prioritizes tasks associated with the checked-in trailer. Task chaining involves adjusting the task due times to the time the next task needs to be completed. For example, in case of demand replenishment or PIA tasks that include case picks associated with it, 
LWT prioritizes demand replenishments tasks. This helps completing replenishments over case picks and chaining tasks accordingly. Along with all these functionalities, LWT estimates the amount of labor time needed to process each of these tasks using quantities, labor standards, expected productivity for the day shift, and current staffing schedule to determine the appropriate time to release the tasks. How is all of this possible? Let's look at LWT components before having an overview of its back-end operation. LWT is composed of the web application and connector. The web application works on Azure platform. Customers get access to the application that includes basic resource scheduling, configuration, and metrics. The connector is a Java-based JAR file that has the ability to send data related to directed work queue with details of orders, shipments along with their due date and time from WMS to LWT and vice versa. The current patch on LWT includes a low-impact method of ensuring that the WMS Work History Database table is populated to project the value of LWT. Now, let's understand how WMS and LWT communicate to optimize warehouse operations. LWT communicates to WMS through a connector. Periodically, WMS sends JSON requests, in the form of snapshots with the details of tasks with due date and time to LWT. LWT sends the JSON requests back to WMS with an optimized priority task list, 